Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. Really, really frustrating for me. So I bring you up onto here, like that. There, we tip out the canola. Then we travel on. We go on round this way. On a little bit further. We go right round the yard like this. I'm going to just keep that so that it goes back up this way up through there and then back up into the field now what I'm going to do up in the field is I'm going to stop just in front of where the thing needs to be stopped and that way when we set the combine coming round to unload it should also Come to unload on here. So I'm going to bring that right onto the very edge of the field, like that. And I'm going to stop it there. That's the end of the course. So then I stop like that. So I've now got that one. And let's just save that course right there. Uh, field 6, grain, unload. Try that. It might work. Okay, so I've, I've, I've saved that course right there. That's, that's now done. I'm not driving the course. I'm doing anything else. I'm just going to leave that one right there. I'm going to go back over to the combine. And I'm going to start this bad boy up. And I'm going to start a new course now. I'm going to do one of these again. So I did unload combine. I don't want that one. Manage courses. Right, so I want to do that. So I had unload combine. Field 6, grain unload. Unload combine is the one that I want to get rid of. Delete you. Start course recording. There. Bring you from this point here. We will drive down across the field. Like this. I will put my spout out. Like this. Because the option that I think should be available, that looks like should be available, is not. I don't have that option here. So I'll bring you over here like this. That's brought that one up to there. And I'm going to stop the course right there. That's where we're going to stop. We're going to set unload point and stop like that. Now, it's not ideal because the spout is not quite in the right position, but it's close enough for me. Uh, so, I will go field 6, combine, unload, like that. And that's now saved. And then I can get rid of that course, and I can go into here, and we can go to field 6, combine. Load that one, and append that one onto the end, like that. So, in theory, it should come up to that point in order to finish. Right. Lots of things work in theory, but whether this is actually going to work, I don't know. We're going to take a shortcut back over this way so that we can carry on doing the actual harvest. And... Go on round the field again. It's going to it's going to need to fill up with 18,000 litres before we can actually test the next part of this. But I remain confident that it might actually do it. We'll bring that one over there. I guess switch it over to field work like that. I've got the two combined courses. I mean, even if I stick it on that, would it still... I, I don't know. I'll, I'll drive course right from there. And that's going to the next waypoint. So that's going to jump into that point right there. And the combine is away and doing everything that it should be doing. I don't quite know why the combine out over here is definitely not done two combine widths all the way down here. Is this because it's been sliding or is this just because the course is a little bit strange out on this corner because of the, the width of it or what? Oh, it's, it's only one combine. No, of course, it's because it's only one combine width that we've done up to this point so far anyway. So it shouldn't make any difference. It is sliding around a little bit there. 
There's a little bit of a, a curved dip just in there, which is never good for the combine. That, that never works well, does it? It always struggles with that kind of terrain. The rest of it is fine. If it's, if it's sort of curved over the other way, then there's absolutely no problems. Right, well, you carry on there for a little bit. And while you're doing that, we're going to skip on up into the field up here. And we've got this bad boy unfolded there already. We're going to go that field right there, which is fertilizing. I've got nothing else that I need to set on this one. So we're going to go to course generation on there. We're going to load in field 9, which is our new field that we've got right here. We're going to go with headland on here. We're going to take three passes on the headland like we would normally. Clockwise headland passes. I want turn on the corners. I don't want to do anything different there. And then we go generate field course. That's given us a really fantastic course right there which will go and plant everything with grass we can back out of here and then we can save that field nine uh seed drill i'll do seed drill here and then we will have another one that will be planter that we would use for obviously the planter yeah makes perfect sense doesn't it right bring you back to that point over to there and Drive course, first waypoint for you, drive course. Right. Nice and simple, fairly straightforward. We've got grass being planted in here. I've now got an extra field of grass that we can go and use. There are a couple of settings that I do just want to go and change in here. We're going to go there. We're going to go advanced settings. Uh, lower, early, raise, late is one that I want. And then I want to go into here and turn speed needs to go up to 16k and reversing speed needs to go up to 12k. She will put that down to 10k because I don't want it going too slow. Actually, that can go down to 14k on there. And we will run it like that. Okay, brilliant. Perfect. Wonderful. That should do fine. Combine is up to 45%, so that one's still coming along quite nicely, and we have got the grass being planted in here, ready for our first big harvest. It's leaving a little tiny strip around the outside edge of the field. I will probably come back and correct that later. I'm curious if the fertilizer that we're busy planting from here is actually... It is spreading the fertilizer on the field as well. That's good. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it only allows you to, like, do one activity per, like, um, state of the field. But then if you spread fertilizer and then you go with a direct drill and have fertilizer again, it doesn't seem to like that. It won't allow the... It won't register the second round of fertilizer going on the field. And I find that to be a little bit frustrating, but... Um, this seems this one seems to be working. This one seems to be doing what we want it to do. Okay. Well, I'll let you I'll let you carry on. I'm not going to like stand over you the entire time. I want to see how this one's doing. We're up to 61 62%. We're just completing our second round on the field. Now, I'm hoping that we get a little bit away from this truck so that we can the combine will then have to come back, and I'm hoping the combine will actually unload into the truck. If it doesn't work this time, then we will set the truck doing the standard going and getting the grain. Right? If, it, if this doesn't work this time, we will just have the truck unloading the combine in the field and hope that it does at least do something right from time to time. We know that it does make an absolute pig's ear of the job on a fairly regular basis, but it might do a reasonable job just occasionally. It may go through a few cycles of unloading the machine without utterly obliterating everything, which would be really, really nice. It would be something that I would love to see. I'd actually like my combine to be able to be unloaded without wiping out the header on the front. Which, so far, we don't seem to have been able to get to work, right? For whatever reason, our drivers, our combine, our, the, the, the drivers in, in the grain cart, nobody seems to actually like the combine. And they seem to be going out of their way 
to ensure that the combine is obliterated when we're, we're trying to do our work. There's no need for that. There's there's no need for that kind of behaviour, is there? I, I, I really think that it's unnecessary. It is absolutely, completely unnecessary and that there's no need for it, okay? We, we can all work together and we can still maintain the combine. We can maintain the performance of it all without having to go and just destroy the combine every time. I mean, it might be, obviously, that there is a bit of bad blood between our workers. It might be the bloke on the uh, combine has said or done something that has upset the person who's doing the grain cart. And the person who's doing the grain cart is then driving right in front of the combine and then making the combine drive into him. Technically, it's not his fault because the combine should have stopped. Combine not stupid, but then technically it's not the combine driver's fault because it was too quick for him to be. You, you, you know the situation. You know the situation, and yep, it, it could just be that this is what's happening. I mean, naturally, I am extremely disappointed in both of our workers for allowing their personal um, grudges, their, their, their personal long held grudges to get in the way of everything that they're doing they're supposed to be doing a harvest here this is really important, we've got to focus on this if we don't get this harvest done people do not get their vegetable oil vegetable oil is very important you cannot cook without it, well technically you can, you can use other vegetable oils but um, it's still very important right, we need the rapeseed oil, we need that so that we can cook with it because the unique flavours that it brings to the cooking is absolutely wonderful and many top restaurants rely on our product and I need you to put aside your grudges so I can make a boatload of money out of your labours and that's the important part that's the really important part is that you need to set aside your personal grudges so I can make a boatload of money out of you don't you forget it absolutely do not forget it now is this going to work is this one going to go over and unload into that truck or is it going to decide that that is just too complicated for it it's entirely possible that my course is not quite set right from where i finished up and i'm willing to accept that that could be the case because of how i set this one right at the end there is definitely the possibility that I didn't do it quite right. Now, it's going to spin around like that. I set an unload point here. So I'm hoping that it would stop and unload. Now, I know that last time it didn't do that. But the spout is coming out. And now he's gone to there. And he is not doing it. Right, and there wasn't an option for doing the other bit either, right? Where we definitely didn't have the option for doing anything else. Request driver, driver priority, distance, stop during unload. Maybe I should have done that. Stop during unloading. Uh, yeah, I know he's gone to that point. Right there. Stop driver. My course was slightly wrong on here. I'm willing to admit that. Right? My course should have been out here. And then I should have had stop during unload. So let me put that bit out to there. Now we'll get rid of that. I can try this once more. I said that would be the last time. Um, turns out that I lied. And what we're going to do is we're going to start this one here. Now, that's, that could be part of the, the field right there. I'm not going to have it. I want field six, grain unload. No, combine unload. Field six, combine unload. Ditch you. And then go back to here. Go to that course. So I need to be over here so that I know I can unload. And I've now got stop during unload activated. That, I think, might make a difference. So we'll bring you out over this way. Like this. I'm going to put you to there. Like that. Actually, I want to bring you back inside the field a little bit, I guess. We'll, we'll, we'll put you to there. And then I will start course recording. Like that. It's facing in this direction. That's good. I want it facing in that direction. 
And then we will drive on down here. I'll put the spout out right now. And I've got to make sure that I am actually far enough over, but not too far over. I've got to be able to unload this grain. Right, so I'm bring that over to there. Like that. And I'm going to stop there. That's where we're going to stop. So I want to set unload point and then stop. That's my course right there. So then I'll save that one. This is field six combine unload. Save. Get rid of that one. And I want to go into here. And I want to go to field six combine. And then I want to append that one onto the end. Go to here. Set that onto the field work setting like that. I'll bring you up this way. We're down to 81%. So we'll drive from here. We'll go straight up and we will put the combine down into the field. It's going to take 19% and fill the rest of this one. And then once it's done that... It should drive over to that truck and it should unload. And this time we've got the right setting on it. At least I hope I have. So I'll take you to here. And I'll go and have a look there. Stop during unloading. It is activated. Excellent. Go back to here. Next closest waypoint. Drive course. And you're away. Right. Wish, okay, fingers crossed, toes crossed, cross everything you got, this had better work. I need this to work, we're on 85% right now. I'm just going to let that fill up a minute, I need a quick drink. We're on 17,000, so we are almost at the point where it's going to stop and drive back. It's not hiding behind that island, I'm thinking that we could actually try and get rid of that island, ready for the sort of mega harvest approach that we're going to try uh, although there's quite a few trees that we're also going to need to move out of the way if we're going to be able to do this whole mega um, harvest thing for our final year on this map. Uh, one thing that I should ask, does anybody want the save game file? Is it worth me actually uploading it somewhere? I'll, I will be uploading the Black Mountain one. Things have been quite busy and hectic for us at the moment here. Um, we've been on... Uh, quarantine here in this household because myself and Senleia haven't been very well so we've we have had to undergo quarantine and we're well I'm I'm feeling mostly fine now Senleia is still struggling to breathe although she is improving on a daily basis and by the time you watch this she should I'm hoping be back to full health Although we are going to have to stay completely isolated because Senlea is in the very high risk category. Um, so we will be staying isolated for a couple of months here. And um, it's obviously it's impacting how things are done and, and how we're putting stuff out. But at the moment, I'm hoping that everything will work quite nicely. We'll be able to keep everything running along. But it has meant that things like getting the uploads done, that, well not the videos, like the, the extra bits behind the scenes that I normally try to do, have not been progressing quite as smoothly and as quickly as I would like. But I will eventually get these things out. Now why? It... See, now that stopped. That stopped too soon. The last one was too late. This one was too soon. Stop driver. I can't test this unless I unload a little bit. This is, this is, this is getting ridiculous. Alright, this, this is getting genuinely ridiculous. I clear my courses. I'm just going to load, I'm just going to make a temporary course and I'm not actually going to do anything else about it. I'm going to bring you over to here like this. I'm going to stop you right there and I'm going to, yeah, but if I make a temporary course, I... Yeah, we'll, we'll, just, we'll save it as temp. That's all we'll do. We'll save it as a temp course. So start course recording right here. Bring you out along this way. I need to have you out so that I can see where exactly you've got to go. So stopping where I stopped was no good. That was too far away. Stopping where I stopped the first time was too far forward. Because it went past that stop sign the last time. You're coming along there. So I want to go over a little bit further. 
And I want to stop there. Now bring that one back in. Set unload point there and stop. I don't know if I'm supposed to go forward a little bit after that. I, I don't really know. Um, so let's just call that temp. Temp 4. We'll call that, I suppose temp 6 would have made more sense. But um, anyway, right. Ditch you. Then go back into here. Field 6 combine. Load that bad boy right there. Then go to temp 4 down here and append that one onto the end like that. Go to you in here. You're on field work like that. Now I will run you back over to where you were previously, which means that this is going to end up behind the island before he's actually loaded up with grain, which is not very helpful. Let's go all the way up over here. Yes. I put too much into the trailer, so now he's going to... He is. He's going to go behind the island before he actually finishes loading with grain. Before I finish this trip around the field. This, this is never going to work, is it? Like, we are never, ever, ever actually going to do... I'm going to bring you to here, and I'm going to see if you will just carry on from this point right here. See how intelligent this thing is. Drive course like that. Okay, it's not too sharp. Combining there, despite the fact that there is nothing to combine. So it's, it is literally just sort of doing what it thinks it should, rather than actually looking around and doing what it actually should be doing. Uh, but at least it's, it is combining, right? Well, we have got the combine going. And come on around the corner there. 85%, but that is going to get down, I think, well, I think it's going to get down behind that island before we are fully loaded. Because, like, we, we've had to get 3,000 litres of canola into this one, and that's quite a bit, really, in the grand scheme of things. 2,000 to go. Might be alright. We may get away with it not trying to cut across and go into that island. This is the last time now. I said that last time, but this is the, this this time it, I really mean it. <laughs> this, last time was the last time, but this time I really mean it, right? This is the last time. We will do this, right. Oh no, that's, that's the grass. Ignore the grass. I don't care about that one for a minute. The grass is now done. We'll have to go over and like polish a little bit, just clean it up a bit, and... We might just... No, I don't think we are going to avoid that island. It's going to go over. It's going to hit a tree. Uh, it's way down. It's, too, it's gone too far. It's going to hit that point. Now, where are you going? Oh, no! He's going to drive right into the trees. No? Oh, maybe not. Oh, thank goodness for that. Right, okay. We, we, we do have a chance. We have a chance that it might make it. We may actually be okay. Now, the other one is saying that it's it's blocking. I'm going to go and we'll ignore those. I'm going to run over to you a second and just see what you're doing. It's that one. It is you. Uh, yeah, you're fine. So I will stop driver there and I'm just going to leave it there for a minute because there is some tidy up work that I want to do on that field with it. So we'll come back and we'll do the tidy up work in a minute. This is highly, highly, very important. Is this actually going to work or is this going to be a terrible failure? Having the islands in the field does make things difficult, right? We know that makes things difficult, but getting any of the combines unloaded also appears to be something that is difficult. It doesn't seem to like chasing them around the field, although that's starting to get better. There are some other options now. There is a um, self-drive mod. I can't remember what it's called uh, that I was being told about the other night that actually you can get that to work better than course play for unloading the combine in the field. And... If I can't get this to work, then maybe we will give that one a go. I'm, I'm not quite sure at the moment, though. We'll, we'll wait and see. Now, you're going to get over to here. You're going to take too long to put that spout out, so it's not going to officially recognize that you're, you're putting the spout out. And it's going to drive all the way back over to its start point. Put the spout out. All the way out. And then just before it gets all the way out, it's going to run away, isn't it? And there. Okay. Seriously? Right, this thing is officially completely and utterly useless. I'm not going to bother stopping. Actually, you know what? I, I'm, I'm going to wait till he gets back over there and I'm going to stop the driver. Uh, and that, that has now officially been classed as a complete and total failure. So 
I'm going to stop that course right there. You over this way. We're going to go to field six, grain unload. And load that course in. That's the one that I want right there. And it will be combi, empty combine and offload. It's the course that we'll be using. I'm not going to get that one going just yet. We need to go back over to the combine here. And we're going to watch it drive straight into the trees on this island. Because why not? It makes perfect sense to drive right the way across the field and smack into the trees. Because, I mean, why wouldn't you want to do that? I, honestly, you've you got this opportunity to keep your job. And so you're going to just drive for the only tree in the middle of the field and see if you can take that one out. Uh, yeah, excellent. Well done. Well done. You have ensured that you are no longer employed on Frithgar's farm. Uh, I don't put up with that kind of nonsense. You've obviously got a big chip on your shoulder, and I have no desire to keep you here any longer. You, you are not fit for purpose. Now, where are we? We want to go Field 6 Combine. Field 6 Combine right there. So I'm just going to go Field 6 Combine now. We're going to keep the stop during unload running. Driver priorities, distance, request driver, head and reverse maneuver is straight. Uh, next closest, drive course. Drive the course there. Quite why he had to carry on and drive off again when we got to only 88% left in the tank. I don't really understand that. Whether there was a setting... Whether, is there a setting in here somewhere that I, I should have changed on these levels? Refill until 100%. Got that one. Refill, no... There's nothing really here that would tell me to do it any differently, is there? Okay, so then I want to go back over to this one and drive course. Wait a minute, stop driver. That's the wrong course. I want that. I want it to be on this one here. And there we're going to go automatic search. We'll leave it on automatic search. Drive course. No combine in reach. The Lexian 8900 needs to be unloaded. Now, you might take a minute or two to figure out that that one needs to be there. But if I go... There. Search co combine pipe is in fruit. Do I care? No, I really don't. Go and do it. Good is that? It doesn't matter if it's in the fruit, does it? <laughs> it's not in the fruit. It's already done the outside bits of the field. Request driver. Right, I, I heard that driver actually starting up. All the way over there. But why haven't you put your spout out? Seriously. Your spout should be out and ready so that the driver is able to come over and get you. I need to go that way to the truck. He's running over this way. And he's taking his sweet time to get there. I'm wondering if I should have him traveling a little bit faster than that. I suppose not really. It's, it, it's going to end up causing trouble. If, if I have him going too fast, it is going to end up causing trouble, isn't it? We, we, we can... Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that... If you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.